if it's chemtrails, if it's vaccines, if it's new world order, okay, I'm there. It gets me fired up sometimes, all right? And this is going to be no different because the approach they take is absolutely deplorable. And it's just interesting because it's the religious belief exemptions that seem to be targeted here. And, and there's more than likely uh, more that could be extrapolated. But even without going there, we already see how our rights are drying up, okay? They're literally evaporating. And it's a total lack of scrutiny by the vast swaths of those who could do anything about it that allow this kind of thing to happen, okay? That's what we're talking about. We're talking about the masses here. It's like they want us to think a certain way and endorse certain measures so that when, you know, SHTF, right, uh, the oppressed will actually have a legal leg to stand on but until that's here it seems will continue to fulfill their prophecy okay and to those more affluent and with a better idea of what's going on uh, they'll continue to, to shout from the proverbial rooftops okay that's what we'll continue to do because what we see essentially are advocates that want the government to legislate something that would force compliance uh, all right and in this case we're talking about uh, vaccinations just think about that OK, like just just like you going to sleep, a law abiding citizen and waking up the next a criminal because you own a, a certain accessory, whether it's a, a bump stock, certain magazine or, or particular ammunition, you know, whatever. Not because of anything you did, though, uh, because of what somebody else did. That's what we're talking about here. You're a law abiding citizen. You're, you're doing all right. The next day you wake up, all of a sudden you, you, you didn't take this shot. You can be fined up to a thousand dollars. You can go to jail. Your kids can't go to school the works, okay? So now they want laws that could basically require an individual to vaccinate. That's exactly what we're talking about. You know, jail time, $1,000 fines, the works, okay? I mean, that's what happened in New York, right? Banning unvaccinated children from certain places. And and, and what if it wasn't just children, right? Uh, what if you worked in that vicinity? And we're already seeing vestiges of that. If you have a certain profession, uh, they can require certain vaccinations. And since we're on New York, they're threatening to close down yeshivas, right? Their schools, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, they're, again, threatening jail time and even up to $1,000 fine. Right for not taking the injection. Simple as that. So soon you won't be able to get a job without the shot. Right in certain professions, uh, even outside of healthcare, we're already seeing inklings of that. Soon you won't be able to travel without the shot. And that's just two ways this go. Right. Supposedly this began uh, what we're talking about here in New York. Supposedly this began far away and the annual pilgrimage from uh, Israel to Ukraine. That's two birds with one stone. Right there, a device against the belief exemptions. All right, and another for travel restrictions. We saw the real ID after 9-11, and if we saw an outbreak version of 9-11, imagine the legislation. They'll just legislate our freedoms right out of existence after each event because we tend to overcorrect, and we endorse these overcorrections. You know, these permanent solutions for, in many cases, uh, temporary problems? So yes, we, we will see, and, and we already are seeing, vaccine mandates, right? Fines, jail times, being banned from certain places, closing down schools and establishments. It's crazy. So if the media can successfully paint a narrative that it's these God-fearing populations that's posing a risk to us, right, uh, that diseases are coming here via travel or whatnot, then the people will back the very oppression most would naturally decry. That's what we're going to see. That, that's what I mean in all my videos when I say we're going to want this oppression. And again, because it's because of our tendency to, to overcorrect, because of our mental malleability during crisis or disaster, and we're more willing to adopt what could be rightfully described as questionable, even deplorable policy, right? Good intention, just poor Im implementation. And, and that's what we're talking about. And again, with New York, they're specifically targeting neighborhoods. I mean, down to the zip code even, okay? Just take the shot, right? Do this thing I'm telling you to do so I can stop telling you to do this thing, right? That's what they said in New York. They'll lift the mandate once everybody in the area gets the shot. So again, do this thing I'm telling you to do so I can stop telling you to do this thing, right? Get your vaccinations so we can stop forcing you to get your vaccinations, right? It's for the kids. OK, but get this. The U.S. is not above reproach and it's been implicated in wrongdoing in these realms before. Right. For example, if the U.S. government has admittedly given STDs to people uh, for their own nefarious purposes, are they above doing something of the ilk regarding, you know, the vaccine topic? You know, I don't think so. Uh, swine flu, bird flu, measles, Ebola, Zika virus. What was it? Mad cow. Right. It's like every year uh, something potentially poses a possible danger to us. So shoot up this drug. Trust us, it's good for you. Just just take the shot, all right? We have this silver bullet that's failed in the past, but that's not for you common folks to think about. Just take this shot.